Interested in saving money? Well, who isn't? Let's face it, even if you were the most money-conscious person, there might be a way or two left to save, especially after the holidays. While we here at List25 are not financial advisors or gurus, well, I am Mike, and here are a few simple tips to help start saving without sucking out all the joy of everything. You ready? But before we begin, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. And with that being said, let's go. Twenty-five. Set a financial goal. Before considering your budget, ask yourself what you want your money to do for you. What goals do you have? Is it paying off that credit card finally? Is it having a down payment for a house? Is it $500 a month extra for fun shopping and activities? There will come moments when you find your willpower waning, and it will be so easy to say, forget it. Having a realistic goal in mind, which you have to work towards, will help keep your focus on the end game. And not the movie end game. 24. Start a budget. I see the eye rolling. Budgets can feel dull and restrictive, but they can help make your money work for you. There's freedom and power in knowing how much money you have coming in and how much you have going out. Having this information can help avoid painful mistakes and wasted money. This is true whether you make $3,000 a month or $300,000 a month. 23. Build an emergency fund. There's nothing like finally progressing towards your financial goals and your car breaks down. What's the price to fix it? $700 repair bill, ride share costs while it's in the shop, and probably a few lost hours of work. Ouch. Setting aside money in an emergency will help alleviate much of this stress. All the money gurus say the ultimate recommended amount is three to six months worth of expenses. However, starting small is better than not starting at all. Even having just $500 in savings could help take the pressure off. 22. Take advantage of apps and coupons. You can use various apps on your phone to help you save money or get cash back on purchases. Gas stations, grocery stores, clothing stores, many places have these reward programs. Even that bougie and overpriced coffee shop has such a program. They might not sound like huge savings, but you'll be surprised how those nickels and dimes add up. As a side note, you might say, but all the emails. Set up a separate email account only for when you need to sign up for these programs. 21. Look into staycations. It's so easy to ignore fun things in our backyard. Start paying attention to what's around you, if you haven't already. Is there a museum you pass by every day on your way to work you've never been to? An escape room? Or aquarium? A resort? The common thought is, meh, that's what all the tourists do, not the locals. Well, time to be a tourist in your town. Check for resident or military or teacher or whatever discounts. Save yourself flights, accommodations, etc. And play in your own backyard. 20. Check your insurance rates. When was the last time you checked on your insurance rate? Not just for your car, but for your house, health, etc. Rate criteria are adjusted periodically, and you might have additional life changes to help lower your rate. It might not yield much, but you might find you've been paying several hundred dollars over for premiums. 19. Scout out the upcoming months. So, next month, there are five birthday parties, a wedding you need a gift and outfit for, and that school party you want to donate to. Whew. Well, Beside being either exciting or overwhelming, it also makes next month's budget a little higher. Ask yourself what big things are coming and adjust accordingly. If you know you have five birthday parties you wanna shop for, start saving a month or two early so it's not as huge of a hit. 18, plan your meals each week and stick to a shopping list. Sit with a healthy snack or full tummy and grab a pen and paper. While you're happily munching, think through what you want to prepare and eat for next week. Make a list of what's missing and then stick to your list. Why the snack or a full stomach? Shop while hungry and you will buy all the things. Plus, food helps your brain work better. The food plan will save money and take the guesswork and frustration out of meals by eliminating the question, what am I gonna make for dinner? 17, unsubscribe from emails. The budget is set, all is going according to plan. You feel like a money management boss and then 50% off your favorite XYZ thing? That sale is too good to pass up, even though it will reduce your budget. Money management boss status? What? 
Remove the temptation by either unsubscribing or having a separate email account, as I mentioned before, only for offers and coupons. When you need or have budgeted for XYZ, search that email account for a coupon or discount. 16. The library is your friend. As a book lover, I get the pull for new books. However, the cost of new books can quickly add up. Your local library is a happy alternative. If you check out a book that you love and want to read repeatedly, buy it. The library also offers fantastic programs and fun seminars you might enjoy. And on top of that, you have apps like Libby where you can literally check out books on your Kindle or digitally or whatever. You don't even need a Kindle. You can use the Kindle app. But literally, I only have a couple of these that I actually own. These are mostly just all books that I check out. So that also saves more money. Instead of buying them digitally, I just check them out, read them, and then in a couple weeks, they go back and I check them out again. So libraries, people. I'm actually going tomorrow to get my physical library card so I can do use another app other than Libby. 15. Find exchange programs for clothes. Look up clothing exchange program and you'll find a few online programs and probably even a few local ones. Think online slash mail-in clothing swap. 14. Plan for vacations in advance for savings. Book things well in advance to take advantage of savings. This allows you to also shop around for the best deals and perks, like a city card to whichever city you're going to, or a BOGO deal for a ticket to a museum. Throwing things together last minute leads to sticker shock and overspending. 13. Pay what you can in advance. If you have money set aside, always ask if you can get a discount by paying in total up front. Familiar places this option is offered would be sports programs, gyms, and medical offices. 12. 24 hour rule for big purchases. Depending on your budget and what you consider a big purchase, set a 24 hour waiting period for anything over X dollars. Getting caught up in the moment is easy and a shiny new want can quickly turn into a need. Waiting 24 hours before making that purchase can help put things into perspective. 11. Save your coins. Remember that small numbers add up to make big numbers. Start saving all the coins you find and then add them up at the end of the year. You might be surprised by how much you have. I'll tell you what, try to guess how much money, how much I got in here. I'll let you know there are no quarters. I do save those for laundry. So it's all pennies, nickels, and dimes. Let me see how much is in here. Oh no, did the battery die? Well, oh no. Oh, well, I think I know how much is in here. Um, let me know in the comments below, I'll see who wins. Well, that was anticlimactic, it's dead. Hold on, we're gonna find, hang on. I got this. It's a little thing that actually, when you put, when you, when you put it in, it tells you how much you have in there, so you kind of know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Minus one penny. Yeah. There we go. If you can guess how much is in here, I'll, I don't know, pin your comment. Sure, why not? Let's do it. 10. Check your subscriptions and auto charges. Subscription services can be super excellent and add richness to your life. They can also add up and junk up your life a lot quicker than those coins too. It's easy to forget to add these services to your list of expenses. $5 a month, $30 a month, $9 a month. Either say no to these services or review your statements every three months to see what's being charged and what you're not using. Nine, do the pantry freezer challenge. Most of us have unused food products lurking in our pantry or freezer. That steak marinade you will one day try. The chicken breast was on sale even though you were so over chicken last month. Give yourself a challenge to only plan to make meals around those random things in your pantry and freezer. It'll help you save money on that shopping trip and it frees up physical space in your life. Eight, shop generic. Most things you see at the store have a generic brand that's just as good as the name brand. Sometimes the product is even made at the same factory. You might find a couple of products that don't follow this norm, but easily 90% of the time you'll save yourself money just by buying the generic. Actually, I mean, this is Malto Meal. I don't know of a s'mores thing that's not Malto Meal. I'm excited to try this. I need milk. Speaking of shopping, I'm gonna get milk after this video. Seven, make cash your friend. 
Want to feel how quickly you're spending money? Use cash. It hurts sometimes. However, it can quickly illustrate how much you have to use. You will promptly start prioritizing and setting boundaries. Six, set up bank to auto transfer funds. There are quite a few banks out there that have programs to help you automatically save money. Some will round up your purchases and the leftover change gets put into your savings account. For example, that $4.50 coffee will be a $5 purchase with 50 cents going straight to your savings. You can also set up to have a portion of each deposit you make transferred to savings. Five, find accountability. Having a trusted friend or advisor know your financial goals and current situation can help you when the going gets tough. They will be there to remind you of what you're doing and why. Four, have snacks in your car. If you're on the go often, using the drive-through for lunch for a quick snack is easy. A simple way to reduce this is by packing a snack box in your car or even as simple as having a granola bar handy. Three, give yourself grace. There will be setbacks and mistakes. When these things happen, give yourself some grace and remind yourself this journey has a learning curve. Take a deep breath, reset, and keep moving. You're a rock star, but you're still human. Two, how many hours does it cost? Start thinking about money from the perspective of how much time it costs. Let's say you make $15 an hour and something costs $30. That means it's gonna cost you two hours of your life. How much do you need or want it? Time equals money. One, celebrate wins. Being structured with money and working to save it is hard work. When you reach milestones and win big victories, celebrate. You earned it and deserve to acknowledge your epic awesomeness. These celebrations will remind you that the work is worth it. So, what are some other money-saving tips that you have that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Money, 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 money. Please don't sue us. <laughs> Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.